so nice to finally have the stock hood back on it. Even though the spare hood is in better shape, it doesn't make sense for James Brown not to have a brown hood. All I had to do is just drill out two holes and retap them. And now that we got that done, because that was super important, very vital to the build, we can move back onto the GMC. And I do have some news about that that might bother some of you guys. I already painted it. Now if you're wondering why I painted it, I think once you look at it, it's kind of self-explanatory. I am not a very good painter. And once you get past that, it does look way better than it did before, obviously, considering before it had a massive hole right here and a massive hole right there. Not really massive, but pretty big. And I did my best to recreate that body line. And if you get all the way back here, it's not super noticeable. And if you do follow me on Instagram, odds are you've already seen pictures of the truck like this because I haven't done anything to it since painting it like three days ago. Now I'm sure that there's a couple of you guys that, are, that wanted to see the whole process, so I'm going to go through it really quickly. After grinding the welds down, I mixed up a little bit of Bondo. As you can see, I didn't use a ton because this is all the leftover that hardened up. I took a little bit of Bondo, sanded that smooth, like that. That took a while. Then I took some sandable primer. Primed it a few times, obviously not like that. And then once that dried, I took some touch-up paint. In this case, WA382E, which is the GM code for pewter metallic, which is the color the truck is. And then once the primer was dry, sprayed it. And then after that, all it's been doing is just sitting drying for the past few days. Now you're up to speed. It looks kind of like art. Minimal effort. So what we're gonna do today is hopefully try to blend it as best as I can. What happened with this outer edge here is I took some masking paper and I kind of had it fold out like that to hopefully blend the paint in. And what I didn't account for was the touch-up paint is such a thinner paint to because it's meant to blend in like this. Whereas the primer, which is what you can see here, was it made way harder edges. So I went back and I tried to go over that a few times and it end of the day I fucked it up, but I think we can still make it look pretty decent. But what I'm gonna try to do is take some, yeah, and take some rubbing compound, try to break it down a bunch, and then take some polishing compound and bring some shine back. I definitely don't expect it to be perfect because it's me and that's body work. Those two things just, they don't go together. So now I'm gonna try to find our buffing wheel that we haven't used in probably a year, and uh, try to get this as close to done as I can before. Well, I found it. It was sitting behind the grinding wheel, and uh, it got a little, little messed up. So I might have to try it by hand first with, uh, with a microfiber cloth. And if that turns out like I'm expecting, which is pretty much no difference, we'll see. I repainted it. So I started off trying to buff it. That really wasn't doing anything. So then I moved on to wet sanding, which knocked down a bunch of it. And I figured since I've already wet sanded it, I might as well just respray it. And it does, it looks way better. I mean, from right here, you can still see a little bit there, but I think another coat or two and that'll cover it. But literally all I've done is wet sanded it down with about a thousand, a thousand grit. Made sure to wipe it off with some of this uh, degreaser stuff. And then after that, just taped off this chrome piece, sprayed it, kind of feathered the edges out, which is definitely an improvement over just this morning. But I am gonna do at least one more coat, probably two. Um, if there's enough left in the can, I'll do a third coat, just to make sure it is good and covered. And then, I mean, it's still, fuck you guys, I'm doing good. Body work is so fucking frustrating. All right, now that that's about, about as good as I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna start mixing up some clear coat. Now, my dad is a way better painter than I am. 
he uh, he's been doing it a whole lot longer. He's got he's got it down. But since it's my video and not his, I figured I might as well do the painting here. That way, if something gets fucked up, I'm the one that gets. So far it's looking pretty good, but the camera's about to die, so, so I'll show you guys in the next video how it turned out. So stay tuned guys, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, I'll see you guys next time.